Oh, any parent will tell you, kids are not born with patience. It's a trait that grows through uh, a lot, a lot of patience on the parents' part. Take it. It takes a lot of energy, Elise McGregor, owner of Little Newtons, to uh, kind of keep yourself under control as a parent when your kid is losing it. Yeah. Patience. It's, it's it's a struggle. Not easy. It isn't easy, and you know they recently did um, the marshmallow test, and so I brought marshmallows today. So, so tell I... people what the marshmallow test is in case they don't Thank know. Thank you. So they have um, they have the opportunity to eat the marshmallow right away. So they bring kids into a room. Yep, and it's four year olds. They can have the marshmallow right now, or you can wait 15 minutes and have two marshmallows. Oh. So you see how long can you you can wait. Yeah, and so it's teaching them to delay that gratification and work with their patients to <laughs> which see one if is they Jason? can make it the whole time. And okay, so I'm they've been so doing this for 50 least. years. I don't know. <laughs> Um, what, what's kind of the difference between 50 years ago and today's kids? They have found that each year it's increasing six seconds, that they're becoming more patient over the years, and they're correlating that with higher SAT scores, hmm. lower divorce rates, that, they, that parents can work with their children young mm -hmm. to make them more patient adults. Interesting. So what are some of the strategies you have for ways you can improve the patience of your kids? So removing the trigger is one of them where I think... <laughs> Just take this away from Jason. Where, where they identify what it is, whether it's playing a video game, they have to do their homework first, mm -hmm. they have to, you know, do, do something in order to get that gratification. Okay. And then another strategy is out of sight, out of mind. So if I give you the slinky, you may be playing with the slinky and completely forget about the marshmallow. Ah. So a lot of distraction that's yep, involved Yeah, a lot this? of distraction. Okay. And then lastly, which I think is a big part of parenting, is positive reinforcement. Like, mm -hmm. obviously giving them a lot of negative feedback about their marshmallow eating isn't going to be helpful in the long run. So like yelling, you have to be more patient <laughs> is not ideal? It's not probably going to get the desired, oh. res desired stop. result. Please yeah. stop. That's not good. At what yeah. age do you, like, because you work with kids all the time, but mm -hmm. when do you feel like kids start really clicking with what patience is and having that understanding? You know, I think you're really starting with it with the two-year-olds. Oh, but really? That young? At, I think you're starting to make that connection, but at four and five is when they really That's start where it really to, happens. Yeah. Were, were you surprised that kids are getting more patient as, as time goes on? You know, I'm actually surprised that I'm more patient. Mm -hmm. Like, as I notice that as I get older, I get more patient. Yeah. Where, huh. You'd think you'd be less patient. Well, because you have kids and you have all right, this stuff. Right. You almost have to be more patient. Yeah, you just kind of become well, more patient. You know what? At a certain point, there's so much chaos around in there. You're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> You just enjoy roll it. with it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right, can I, I have like my marshmallow it. yet? You may. Jason, it's time. You can have your marshmallow. I mean, I barely made it two minutes. <laughs> but it's delicious. Thanks for coming. Thank you. I'll share mine with you, Jason. Uh -huh. We got patience and sharing. I have oh, there all you go. <laughs>